Hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to discuss about which is the best 32 inch TV available in the market for a reasonable price so let me straight away tell you that in today's market 32 inch TVs are available for a price as high as 18000 rupees 20000 rupees and for me personally for that price a 32 inch TV HD TV doesn't make any sense and for me a TV is all about the picture quality and the sound quality and at that price of around 18000 20000 rupees i would always recommend you to go for a 40 inch full hd tv so uh, in my opinion a reasonable price for a 32 inch tv is around 14000 rupees and in that in that price bracket the main top options are realme tv thomson tv 9a series and the toshiba tv l50 series these are the ones which i have shortlisted and uh, you might say that there are uh, there may be some other options from the uh, from me tvs onida tv and all uh, i haven't included them in this list because uh, in the in their updated pricing i i don't feel that uh, they are worth that that much of premium but uh, if you guys want me to do a comparison also do comment down in the comment section below i will do it in a future video let's start comparing these tvs by talking about the picture quality first so for picture quality i would rate toshiba tv as my number one pick because for an hd panel the display quality is excellent for toshiba tv the second option will be the thomson tv i would rate the display quality or picture quality as very good and the third option will be realme tv here also i would rate the picture quality as very good but uh, i would say the thomson tv offers a slightly better colors so it is Uh, the second pick will be thomson tv and third pick will be the realme tv now talking about the another main aspect that is the sound quality of these tvs here also i would rate the toshiba tv's sound quality as excellent and it is the first choice in my uh, in this comparison and the second pick will be the realme tv i would rate it as very good and the third pick will be the thomson tv so that's the right ranking in in terms of sound quality and if you ask me uh, which uh, tv produces the loudest sound then that is realme tv like if you want the uh, loudest sound quality then it will be realme tv and if you have want that clarity from the sound then go for the toshiba tv let's talk about the connectivity and app support here i would rate the toshiba tv as just good the reason being there are some points in its advantage and some points in its disadvantage so let's start talking about the points in its advantage that is it is it is excellent in wifi connectivity it has screen mirroring and the os which toshiba uses that is uh, it is it uses an os based on linux and not android right issue with android tvs is that with aging with one or two updates the ui tends to lag a little bit uh, but i i won't say it is uh, it is a major issue or so but still uh, the os on the toshiba tv is much faster than the android ui that's all so these are the advantages for the toshiba tv talking about some of the disadvantages of this tv is that the first thing is it has less app support specifically speaking it doesn't have an app support for the disney plus hotstar app secondly it doesn't have bluetooth support the issue with this is that it doesn't sub, it doesn't have a bluetooth remote uh, as well as you can't connect your bluetooth headset to this tv and watch shows the third point which is sort of an advantage for this tv is that it has a built in browser which all other tvs all other android tvs doesn't have so uh, with the built in browser you you can sort of watch uh, disney plus hotstar shows and all uh, but still an a dedicated app would be really convenient now talking about the uh, thomson tv uh, i would say i would rate overall very i would give a very good rating for apps and connectivity uh, the reason being it has excellent wifi connectivity usually in android tvs uh, wifi connectivity is sort of a, a mix uh, for some it works really well for some it would be uh, laggy laggy or you have to connect your uh, wifi one or two times to work properly so for thomson tv i would say in in terms of wifi connectivity it is excellent but the disadvantages it has is that it doesn't have native netflix app in order to watch netflix shows you have to sideload the netflix app from the uh, from the online so that's definitely a disadvantage secondly uh, it doesn't have a dedicated screen mirroring option it uses google chromecast uh, the 
advantage disadvantage of google chromecast is that you can't uh, mirror your phone's screen completely uh, whatever on the on your phone screen completely onto onto the tv uh, using google chromecast you can mirror most of the google apps that is youtube google photos and all but uh, you just can't mirror each and everything on your phone so uh, these are the points for thomson tv now talking about the realme tv i would here also i would give an overall rating as very good uh, the reason being uh, it has a dedicated screen mirroring support just like the uh, toshiba tv so you can mirror everything on your phone screen uh, but a sort of a, a disadvantage for a realme tv is that it is overall good in wi-fi connectivity that is uh, for most of the users wi-fi connectivity is really good but uh, some of the cases uh, the wi-fi connectivity is sort of lacking so that's about the realme tv now talking about the warranty of these products uh, for me personally warranty is one of the major things which i look before purchasing a product because in newer products uh, you can't say uh, whenever an issue can creep up and if an issue comes it is slightly difficult to get it repaired and working so i would definitely suggest you to look for warranty before purchasing a product so let's start talking about the toshiba tv uh, the toshiba tv has one year of comprehensive warranty uh, it is a shame that toshiba used to offer two years of warranty but now it has reverted back to one year of warranty which is a uh, sort of okay i now talking about the thomson tv it is also offering only just one year of comprehensive warranty uh, but when talking about the realme tv it has one year of comprehensive warranty on the product but it also has an extra one year on the display that is uh, on the display panel realme offers two years of warranty which is definitely a positive point so some of you might ask me like uh, the flipkart is offering extended warranty with the jeeves in partnership with jeeves and should i suggest you or not uh, i would say uh, if you are purchasing a tv with one year of warranty uh, definitely consider uh, or uh, definitely uh, opt for the extended warranty option and i would uh, i would say this as a disclaimer uh, i personally don't have experience with the jeeves extended warranty and all but still uh, from what i have read online uh, the yes you will get your product repaired or replaced but uh, you have to run behind them uh, it will they will take their own time time uh, that is maybe 2 months 3 months and all but still uh, finally you will get the product so uh, that is one thing which you have to keep in mind but for that peace of mind i would definitely suggest you to go for that extended warranty options talking about the price of this tv the toshiba tv is priced at 1399 the thomson tv is th priced at 13500 and the realme tv is priced at 1399 all these prices are as as of shooting this video and i would give uh, links in the description box below so that you can check out the latest prices on the flipkart So now let's move on to the conclusion. So if you want the best 32 inch TV in terms of picture and sound quality then just blindly go for the Toshiba TV. It offers the best picture quality and best sound quality as it has some points in its disadvantage which I have mentioned earlier but if you can overlook those slight points then definitely just blindly go for the Toshiba TV. It is the best 32 inch TV for a reasonable price. Now talking about the Thomson TV it is a very good TV it has uh, really good picture quality and sound quality but there are slight points on its disadvantage that is no Netflix app and no native screen mirroring support uh, but if you can look over these points then you can consider definitely consider Thomson TV now more talking about the Realme TV i would say it is a very good all rounder in this segment the reason being uh, it is it doesn't excel in any of the segments but uh, it is so close to the competition and it offers an extra warranty on the extra one year warranty on the display panel which is a definitely a positive point so uh, as a uh, conclusion if i would say which is the best tv in this price bracket or as an overall tv then it is the realme tv uh, but uh, as you know realme is from a chinese brand and all and if you 
uh, don't want a chinese uh, t- brand tv then i would say just blindly go for the toshiba tv it is the best non chinese tv in this price bracket hope you like this video and if you have any doubt regarding these comparisons uh, do comment down below in the comment section i would definitely take a look on to it uh, so if you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel for more such videos so thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video